Hey gang, Drex here from DrexFactor.com, and today I am counting down my top five favorite body tracing tricks. So let's just call a spade a spade. Body tracers look really cool and sexy. You have these moments where your arms are reaching out and touching your entire body, moving up and down. They're very dancey and they're very sensual. I'm gonna give you some of my favorites and hopefully it'll help you guys on your own explorations with body tracers. Before we dive in, I just wanna give a shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, e Amazing Lights, Flow Toys, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can visit them all on the web by following the links down in the description of this video. Video. So obvious question, what is the definition of a body tracer? I would personally consider a body tracer to be anything that involves a reel that moves along the body. That is, your hand has to be in contact with some part of your body, whether it be your other arm, your torso someplace, anywhere, just so long as it's actually touching your body. So with that in mind, here are my favorite tricks that fit this definition. Snakes. Snakes are one of these tricks that we've kind of borrowed from the juggling world, but made our own in a lot of respects. Really the idea is that you're doing a linear isolation, the same tool that I usually use for teaching flowers to people. The difference is, is that two of those petals wind up behind your back. As you're going from the inside of your body to the outside of your body, you do a petal over your shoulder. And as you're going from the outside of your body to the inside of your body, you do a petal under your armpit. Because the two poi are spinning in split time same direction, the other poi is doing exactly the opposite. It goes underneath your armpit on the way out and over your shoulder on the way back. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a trick that helped me finally nail snakes. And that's that the moment where they start isn't what it appears to be. You wanna try and get it to the point where you can clap your hands together with the poi moving. I know, it seems kinda of weird, right? But wait for that moment when the right hand poi is going up and the left hand poi is going down. And you almost imagine that you're gonna stall them up and down along your center line. But instead of stalling them, you're gonna let your hands come together as though you're trying to clap them. And that moment where your hands sneak in between the poi is the moment when you initiate the snake. Pretty cool, huh? The G. I don't think this trick actually has a formal name, but I would say the G has done more than any other poi spinner to popularize its usage. So I think I'm gonna name it after him for the purposes of this video. So this is really the same idea as what's going on in snakes, but instead of applied on a horizontal line, it's instead applied on a vertical line. And the poi are now in together opposite instead of in split time same direction. You're gonna to wanna to do this in what some people call a reverse butterfly. That is the poi are coming up through the middle and going down out to the sides. Now, you're gonna pick one poi, and it doesn't matter which one to start with, but that one poi is gonna go up into your armpit as your hands go up your body. The other poi is gonna go over your shoulder. Think of it going like that. Now you're gonna switch off which side is doing which. So last time it was my right hand that was going in the armpit. This time it's gonna be my left hand. Again, I go down, left hand goes in the armpit, right hand goes over the shoulder. Now it is important to note, they don't do these things at the same time. The poi that's going into your armpit gets there first and the poi that goes over your shoulder gets there second. This is so they can't tangle into each other behind your back. In between each body trace, reach out to the sides and do a small inspin pedal straight out to your right and left hand sides. If you wanted to, you could just do a straight extension going back and forth, works just as well. Archer Weave Fountains. I think that Archer Weave Fountains are my favorite body tracer. They're definitely the one that I do the most, especially the in-spin variation, and to a lesser extent, the anti-spin variation. Now, I've done a tutorial on Archer Weaves before, but I will tell you the secret to getting them down is really the hand movement. Start with your right hand straight out to the right hand side and touch your left hand to your left shoulder. Now imagine that your right hand is gonna reach down and your left hand is just gonna trace along your right hand until they're both straight out to the bottom. Now reach your left hand out to the left hand side and your right hand is gonna wind up in your left armpit. Now as we go up and over, your left hand is gonna reach towards the ceiling and your right hand is gonna slide up your left arm until they're both pointed towards the ceiling. Now reach that right hand over to the right hand side and have that left hand work its way down to your right shoulder. Now perform the same movement as you're performing the archer weave. And that's what allows you to do this fountain that goes all around your body. It's really, really, really important that you're comfortable both with doing the archer weave going forwards as well as the archer weave going reverse. The Nevisole. This is another one of those body tracers that I find I just do constantly. It was first shown to me by Thomas Johansson, AKA Nevisol, which is why I've named it after him for the purpose of this video. The really cool thing about this trick is that it takes elements of both crossers as well as windmills and combines them together with flowers and hybrids, creating a really cool mishmash of different poi styles all mixed into one. 
One of my favorite things about this body tracer is that you can reverse the direction of it fairly easily. Here's how you learn that. Start with your arms out to the sides and think that you're going to go into a windmill with your right hand starting off behind your head, like so. You can do this as a no beat if you prefer, but it might be a little bit easier for you to keep the timing and direction straight if it's a windmill. Cool. Now from here, you're going to reverse which hand is in front and which hand is behind. So I'm going to drop down into a crosser and I want to do that in such a way that my right hand is in front and my left hand is behind. From here, I just reach straight out to the sides again. So it's up, right behind, left behind, and then back out to the sides. And I can switch back down and around into my normal direction, thinking down, right behind, left behind, up and around, yeah? I can always make the switch when I'm out to the sides. Pretty cool, right? Stall chasers. So I will totally admit that doing body tracers with stall chasers can be a royal pain in the ass. But any moment where you have one poi coming over to meet the other poi is an opportunity to find some place where you can stick a little bit of a shoulder reel and a trace and get the poi around your body. I've actually seen some people turn this into a kind of game, finding all the moments in between the two hands where they can get their poi to do a little reel around their body before doing a stall chaser up and around. So you've got to know that I've got a combo in mind for these, right? We're going to start off by doing the G, having our poi do those tracers straight up the sides of our body. We're going to stop out to the sides and I'm going to have my left hand come around to initiate a stall chaser, bringing the right hand around, the right hand goes through the armpit and around the head and back. From here, we switch into the archer weave, going all around our body in that fountain. When we're at the bottom, we switch into Nevisol's body tracer, going up our body and then back down and around. When we're in the center, we take snakes out to the sides and finish it on off with a little bit of a spiral wrap. Pretty cool, huh? Cool, so I hope you guys got something out of that. What are your favorite body tracers? Let me know down in the comments. And if you happen to shoot this combo, please throw it on Instagram with the hashtag DrexFactorPoi. Thanks so much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please leave a like and subscribe to help my channel grow. Special thanks to all of my awesome supporters on Patreon. You guys are the ones that make these videos possible. If you're not a current backer, but would like to sign up to support the work that I do, please go to patreon.com slash DrexFactorPoi. Thanks again and peace.